Yeah, I mean, we saw the Miami game. They got dominated on the boards. In Duke, they're going to have that same problem. I thought they played Duke well the first time they played them down in Cameron Indoor. But, man, uh, the inside game was something they just couldn't deal with. So, Pitt's going to have to be on on spot with their, their outside shooting, their foul shots. No turnovers. Play a very smart game, and we'll see what happens tomorrow. That's an afternoon game. We also had West Virginia winning tonight. Duquesne lost 81-70, to and, and they just could not... They went like eight minutes without a field goal. West Virginia is an interesting team now. They have Kansas tomorrow. How do you see that one coming down? I think West Virginia is a tough team, and I think they can – you know, that, that league is a meat grinder, and I understand that Pitt fans are frustrated that, like, certain teams that don't have the record Pitt has in other leagues are rated higher in these net rankings. I, West Virginia looks like a really good basketball team to me. I like their balance. You know, I like that. I think at one point early in the second half, they had three guys all with 13 points right after the break. I mean, they can hurt you in a lot of different ways. Uh, what, Stevenson, I like him. Yeah. I like that they just still play. They still play, I think, Bob Huggins' style, which is hard-nosed. Uh, they don't make things easy. That's a rugged conference, but I give them a very legitimate chance uh, to beat Kansas and at least throw a scare into them. I think they're an obvious tournament-quality team, too. Uh, I just... That, that league has been so unbelievably good, and it's a, usually a, a Kansas and everybody else, and the everybody else can be pretty good, but that league is just so astonishingly deep top to bottom. Uh, I give West Virginia a real chance to move on. Yeah, so do I. Eric Stevenson is their Jason Zucker. He's the spark plug for that team. Speaking of that, we'll talk about the hockey situation. Also, a retirement today, but it was one of the more unusual things. But then again, if you know anything about the man who's up in Syracuse, you know it's not unusual. That's the way he is. We'll talk about that and get your phone calls. 412-575-2600 right here live. Pittsburgh, CW, and also simulcast on 93.7 The Fan.